Hello guys, welcome back. Most gun enthusiasts agree that the Glock 19 is the best handgun the Austrian firearm manufacturer has ever designed. But most will also second me on the fact that it is a little too big for concealed carry. So what if the Glock 19 was trimmed down into a slimmer dimension while preserving the good? Well, that is exactly what Glock did to offer Glock 48. It was released alongside Glock 43X in 2019 and by now, it has garnered a fair amount of popularity. So much so that it is a top choice for people looking for a rather compact polymer frame 9mm handgun. Some of you may not know this, but the Glock 48 is not the first compact handgun to come out of Glock's factory. Glock's first take on the compact handgun was Glock 43, which was considered good until SIG P365 came along and simply blew the former off the market. SIG essentially redefined what a concealed carry handgun should be with the P365. The handgun had 12 rounds capacity, great sights, an incredible trigger, and an overall decent feel. Certainly, the Glock 43 with its 6 rounds was no match for it, but with the G48, Glock has tried to turn the table. It has been a while since I bought this gun, and by now I must have fired at least a couple of thousand rounds with it, so let me share my experience with this gun, the good and the bad. Let's get to it. Ergonomics The first thing you will notice in Glock 48 is that it is not a typical Glock. Sure, the profile shares some resemblance with G19, but as you look down the muzzle or from behind, you will notice that it is significantly slimmer. Plus, it has a single stack magazine about 0.3 inches slimmer than the Glock 19. I know it does not sound like much, but you will feel the difference as soon as you hold both guns in your hands. The decreased circumference and the round shape of the grip make it easy for people with smaller hands to hold. It features the same grip as the Glock 43X, and trust me when I say it is one of the best grips Glock has ever designed. Glock has been able to strike a balance by making the grip as small as possible for concealed carry without sacrificing the grip operation. Glock 48 also features front and back serrations, which I appreciate as it allows shooters to rack the gun how they feel comfortable. You can hold the slide from the back or on the front. The handgun has got you covered. Furthermore, the magazine release is flushed with the frame, which reduces the accidental ejection of the frame, much like all 4th and 5th gen Glocks. The slide release is small and unobtrusive, which I have found difficult to use, especially when compared to larger offerings. A small complaint, but not something I cannot live without. Concealability There is a lot of skepticism around the concealability of the gun. Considering it is about the same size as Glock 19, and you are right, but it is exactly where the Glock has hit the jackpot. Normally, when a handgun is more concealable, it comes at the expense of performance and shootability. It makes the gun difficult to hold and subsequently more challenging to fire the gun accurately. Glock has worked around it by making the handgun slimmer instead of shorter. In fact, the barrel is a tad bigger than the Glock 19. Neither Glock nor I have claimed that it is a super small gun because, frankly speaking, it is not. But that is not a problem even if you are looking for concealed carry. You see, Concealability and shorter size do not necessarily mean the same thing. Yes, a shorter handgun is easier to carry, but so can be Glock 48. The grip on this handgun is short enough to conceal pretty much any position on your belt. You would overlook the rear of the gun popping out of the shirt because it is too slim. Plus, the thinner profile of the G48 fits in the waistband more comfortably, and because it is a single stack gun, there is not much bulk between the belt and the body. Sure. The barrel on this thing is slightly bigger, but to put things in perspective, it is about half an inch or inch at best longer than your super small pistol. The point is that it is not long enough to cause inconvenience or discomfort while strapped with your waistband. All in all, if you are worried about the concealability of this thing, do not be. Carrying this gun with or without a waistband is not going to be an issue. Magazine Capacity You know how I mentioned SIG redefined the concealed carry market? It got popular mainly because of the 12-round magazine. Well, the Glock might not have been able to beat that benchmark, but it has gotten closer with 10 rounds capacity. And we're going to be honest, two rounds are really not going to make a difference should you experience a hostile situation. If you could not shoot down the target with 10 rounds, you will likely not make a difference with two more. I know some of you may not like my justification, 
but something had to be compromised to deliver a decent concealed carry. Plus, even if you are not a fan of 10-round capacity, it is a problem that can be easily solved with a couple of upgrades. Sights If you have been following this channel long enough, you will know that I find the standard plastic target sights on Glocks absolutely ridiculous. Even the most die-hard fans will agree that the replacement of Glock sights is almost mandatory. It is not that I cannot fire with them, it is just that sights such as those on P365 make things more convenient and easier. And knowing Glock, it will likely do nothing even in the next generation. Performance Glock 48 is a single-stack gun that shows when you fire a couple of shots of it. It certainly feels somewhat snappier than its double-stack counterparts. The weight that is turned off the slide in the frame increases the recoil, but it is nothing that you cannot manage. It is balanced by the full grip, which allows you to hold the handgun firmly. Despite the added recoil, you can shoot the target dead center even if you are half a decent shot. There is some muzzle rise, but again, because you have a solid grip, it is not difficult to quickly acquire the target. While the follow-up shots are not as easy as the G19, with a little pause between them, they are just as accurate. At this point, I'm comparing it with the G19 instead of other concealed carry in the market, which in itself is quite remarkable. An aspect where it leaves the G19 behind is fast manipulation, which I find super easy on G48 compared to its larger cousin. There is nothing new about the trigger. It is the same characteristic Glock which feels mushy and has a loud reset. The only complaint I have is the lack of texture on the grip. While its size is decent, it needs a stipple job if you want to hold it comfortably in your sweaty hands. Should you prefer it over SIG P365 and Springfield Hellcat? The SIG P365 and Springfield Hellcat are the only two real competitors to G48, so it is natural to compare the three. It is not an easy choice to pick between the three because each of them has something that the other two do not. No matter which one of them you buy, you cannot escape buyer's remorse. Get the G48 and you will feel bad about compromising those extra two rounds you could have got with the P365. Get a P365 and you will miss that extra grip length of G19. The point is, when you are in a concealed carry market, there are some compromises you cannot avoid. You just have to figure out the compromises you can live with. If you ask me, I would certainly go for G48 and it is mainly because I'm very familiar with what to expect from a Glock and a very extensive aftermarket. The P365 also has a decent aftermarket, but it is not a match for Glock. Plus, the MSRP of the Glock 48 is also relatively inexpensive over the P365, which might be an important consideration for some people. That's all for this video. I hope it has been fun and informative. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section and stay connected with the channel. As always, I will see you in the next one.